take it home. Power surge by Tiafimo Lopez in the 12th round of a very, very close fight. Now, one thing to be noted in the opening round as Lopez comes out with the right hand is that Lomachenko has been a slow starter. He lands half of what he lands in rounds 2 through 12. He throws 20 fewer punches than the lightweight average in the first round. It's later that he typically picks up the pace. Yeah, it is later that he typically picks up pace because what he does is, is he takes a read on his guy. You know, Loma's like, you know, Aaron Rodgers or Pey Peyton Manning, you know, going up to the, you know, the, the, the line of scrimmage. That pre-snap read, that's what he's doing. Just want to get a look out of his opponents before he executes. Like what Lopez is doing in this first round, he's getting that jab going. Feet, Oftentimes feet. righties don't throw jabs against lefties, and that's a misnomer. The jab can land. Lopez hasn't really landed it, but he's getting himself in position to land other shots. Not only is it common to not see orthodox fighters do that against the southpaw, it's uncommon to have any productivity with the jab for Lopez. That's just not who he is. He looks for the right-hand power punch. And remember, in the lead-up to this fight, often he discussed the fact that he felt his skill set wasn't being represented or talked about enough. That's not why the world fell in love with Lopez. You know, he, he's, he's shown more power than he has IQ and skill set. Um, but he does have the, the, the skill and the ability to box Loma. We're seeing it right now. Halfway through round one, this is exactly what we told you about Loma, about being a slow starter, about downloading the information and not firing off the way we typically see. He finds range. He gets distance calculated. I'll tell you one area where Lopez should attack, and it's the body of Loma to slow down those legs. One, two, he has a big frame. You know, for a small guy, he has a long torso. Go down to that body. You see how Loma keeps his hands up real high? Throw something up top and then drop something down to the body. There it is. And there is the right hand to the body from Tiafimo Lopez. These are the rounds why Loma is downloading information Lopez can put in the bag right now. Keeping his hands working. He heard his father say after that right hand to the body, that's what I want. There's the jab again from Lopez. More jabs than we're used to seeing from him. Perfect round so far for Lopez. So you see all the hand gestures, but you see how Lopez, how calm he is, how relaxed he is. Tried to come across with that right hand to the body again. Remember, there were so many who thought that Tiafimo would come out as the brash, young, bold fighter and jump on Loma. Instead, measured, calculated, utilizing the jab, and Dive! went to the body with the right. Loma, for as long as we can all remember, dubbing this ascension the takeover. That's the most essential thing that Lopez is doing right now, is just sticking the jab out. He's not landing it but he's occupying Loma. He's, he's not allowing Loma to get comfortable or to be able to gauge his range. And in the meantime, he's flicking jabs out and he's landing that straight right to the body. That's a beautiful shot right there. And he got his foot outside the lead foot of Loma to land that right hand to the body. But what I like about what Lopez is doing is, is he is shooting the jab, but he's staying inside to land his jab. You many don't, we don't talk about this often, but if you move to your right, you're able to find the angle with your jab a lot easier than moving left. Goes to the body again, and then a right hand comes in from Tiafimo Lopez. Yeah, you see that power, and you see Loma respecting that power. He felt it already. So the body work continued, and then all of a sudden Lopez goes up top with a right hand. I already started to see redness on a rig page on the left side of He's going to touch to the body. Good work so far. Six body connects for Tiafimo Lopez early on here. It's going to take about four rounds for Loma to get acclimated. He's been out of the ring for about a year, 14 months or so. Longest career layoff. His last fight was in London. We were there ringside when he had a unanimous decision against Luke Campbell, a tall fighter, another guy who's more the naturally bigger man, and there were moments of success that night in London from Luke Campbell. 
Yes, it was, and that's what I saw. I saw that Luke Campbell, when he was able to establish distance outside, he was able to isolate the offense of Lomachenko, just as you see here with Lopez. He's isolating it's the left offense. Hand. Left hand from Lomachenko for the first time now. You see Lopez has to be concerned of crossing the threshold as the process that Lomachenko goes through, the range finding, and he just pulled the trigger quickly with the left hand there. And they got Lopez's attention. So Lopez had the right hand early in round two, and now Lomachenko with a timed left hand moments ago. It's a high level of skill. Yes, it is. From both fighters on display right now. And you may say, well, how is that possible for Lomachenko? It's because you got to watch the indirect attacks, the, the feints of foot, the feints of hands, and all of the positioning that he's doing before he even lets the shot go. He makes you work even if he's not throwing punches. He's so angular. All the movement. Ooh. It can be exhausting. Good exchange. Got to him. Ten. So the last half of that second round, bank it for Vasily Lomachenko. Round number three for the undisputed title. Lopez got real comfortable. You know, Loma didn't do much. But then when he did strike, strike like a Cobra, and he was pinpoint accurate. He brought up how exhausting it can be with the non-punching activity. How Loma can outclass his opponents mentally. And for Lopez, this is not just a challenge of what you're up against physically, but staying focused every single second yes. against the master yes. craftsman. Mm -hmm. That can be so taxing, Dre. It's like Brady or Aaron Rodgers mm -hmm. going to the line of scrimmage and audibly two or three times, and as a defense, you, you get set, and then they audible again, and then you get set, and they audible again. It's very, very exhausting, and Lopez knows this coming in. He's watched Lomachenko, so I believe he's prepared for that tonight. And then on the other side, Tim, if you're Tiafimo, yeah, you know that Loma loves to fight with rhythm he loves to conduct the orchestra of his fights at some point you have to find a way to be disruptive you have to find a way to take full control and make him uncomfortable you got to be a little bit aggressive to to offset that rhythm but he fades in and out of range you know that's why he's so effective you know you come in and see him he stepped out of range right there made lopez miss then he'll come back in range it looks like you can hit him and then he slightly gets out then he moves his head off to the side you have to be alert, really alert, when you're in there against a sharpshooter like Lomachenko. There he is, dipping, changing levels. See, what Loma's doing is he's trying to test the young guy. He's trying to see what he knows. He's changing levels, dropping his head down low, trying to see if he can get a response. And if he sees the right response, then he'll attack. He'll come up shooting with shots. Loma found himself in the pocket for a moment there, and Tiafimo threw the two-punch combination. Mm. That body shot lifted up Lomachenko, tried to get away from it. Left hand from Tiafimo. Every time that threshold is crossed, he is going to fire. There he is with Lomachenko against the ropes for a moment, and a combination of Lomachenko returns fire. See, Lopez got to be a little bit more disciplined. If he's going to do the shoulder roll, he got to be a little bit more disciplined with that. It's not time for that, Timmy. It's not time for that. It's the third round. It's not time for the shoulder roll. The shoulder roll comes when you're comfortable and you, you've taken charge of this fight. And right now, Lopez is not completely in control of this fight. Well, he's in control of this round right now. Took the first, mm. Lomachenko's effort in the second, and then... A good-looking round here in Rex has land, landed 11 of 42 punches thrown. Lomachenko had two of 11. Twenty-six percent was the connect percentage in that last round for Teofimo Lopez. Let's bring in Bernardo. Teofimo Sr. said, I told you we could get him. I think he heard him in that last round, and he landed a really good seven. I said, what's the seven? That Bernardo. overhand looping right. He said, mentally, we've got him where we want him. He's not doing anything. It's a big early statement, but it's a guy who is often very confident. His father, his trainer, who has molded him 
throughout his amateur career, throughout his pro career. Whole lot of trainer, whole lot of hype man. And Lopez is boxing good, like we said, these first four rounds. But it's it's way premature to say that they've got Loma where they want him. It's Agreed. a lot of fight less. Especially mm. considering the way a typical Lomachenko fight goes. That nice little jab over the over Lopez's jab. It's nice by Lomachenko. I'm looking forward to seeing the uppercut from Lopez. And I like the pace that Lopez is fighting at. He's not wasting anything. He doesn't seem to be over anxious. And he's not throwing a lot of punches. He's only throwing what he needs to throw. So he should have plenty left in the tank as this fight progresses on. It's going to be about concentration, Dre. He's going to have to concentrate every second, That's every minute of this round. Yes, both fighters. Yes. Neither fighter can fall asleep for one second. Mm. If I'm Lopez, I'm getting a little bit more work down to the body of Loma. You know, in these moments, you got to take calculated risk. Loma's body's there. You got to step in and get ripped down to that body. Just miss with that right hand to the body, but he has been Ooh. willing to throw to the body. Short exchange, short right hand. Did you see that uppercut right there? That's what I'm looking forward to seeing from Lopez, that right uppercut. I think one thing that's giving Loma some trouble right now is he didn't realize that Lopez was as quick and as fast as he is. He is twitchy. That is a big part of his success. It's not just pure power, God-given power. He has speed that creates timing, which results in power. Loma talked about the IQ of Lopez. He talked about the power of yeah. Lopez. He talked about the timing mm. of Lopez, but he didn't mention the speed. He's realizing that Lopez has speed right now. And a four, and things are real. And looking good against the number one pound for pound fighter in the world. Round number five here from the bubble at the MGM Grand in Vegas. Look, Lopez can keep it like this. He's winning these early rounds, a lot of these early rounds, and he can keep it just like this. He don't need to rush anything. Take his time. And eventually, Loma's going to have a sense, he's going to have to have a sense of urgency to win these rounds. And so he's going to step to him and open himself up for a big shot from Lopez. Bernardo, what are they saying in the corner of Loma? Papachenko told Vegas, look, don't rush, take your time, be careful, and be patient. So this is their plan. Anatoly Papachenko, the nickname for the father and trainer of the three-division world champion, a driven boxing mind who taught Vasily how to first get into a boxing stance at four years old. And then at nine years old, after bringing him to the gym for those five years, he said, no, you're done with boxing for now. You're going to learn traditional Ukrainian dance. He did that until he was 13, didn't box. Why? Because Papachenko wanted him to have the best footwork on earth. Another body shot from Tiafimo going to that belt line with the right hand. That's been the story so far in this fight. Lomachenko doing a lot of movement, a lot of defense, but keeping that body exposed. I think the key word from Papachenko was patience. And you don't hear that word thrown out there a lot as it pertains to professional prize fighting. But when you're facing a guy in Lopez who's strong, powerful, twitchy, like we said, you got to take some steam out of those punches in order to put yourself in a position where it's safer to let your offense go, but right now it's not safe enough for Loma to let his hands go, and that's why he's not throwing a lot. Well, he got to throw some punches if he going to take some steam off a fighter. Throw some punches. Throw something down to the body. He, you know, has he landed a body shot Tim, yet? Tim, you, we know how Loma fights. He doesn't throw a lot of punches early on. He's trying to wear the mind down of Lopez with the movements and all the different things. That doesn't look like it's working right now, but it's still a lot of fight left. More okay. body work from Tiafimo Lopez to that point. And to support that argument, because even the way CompuBox is telling this, this is still well below what we see out of Lomachenko. At this point right now, with a half minute to go in round number five, Lopez has thrown 174 punches. Lomachenko has thrown 40. Well, go ahead. Go ahead and wait, Loma. 
go ahead and wait because you want to have to sooner or later you're going to have to step to this young man because right now he's easily winning this fight and it's not the way he typically goes about it it's skillful it's measured has he moved on the angle yet? He hasn't even moved on the angle no. yet. And that is what he is known for, being an angular, offensive, aggressive, counting to note when it comes to the defense of Lomachenko. That has been simply sublime for most of his career. In his career, opponents only land 18% of their punches on him. Lopez is ahead of that schedule. However, at 135 pounds, fighting bigger than his natural weight, here the champion at 135 with three belts, he has been getting hit more. Opponents at 135 pounds land 30% of their power punches against him. Right now, Teofimo Lopez is landing 36% of the power punches against Lomachenko. And he comes in with a 1-2 there, a right hand that tries to split the guard here early in round 6. Ooh, just missed off the mark with that left hook test. I kept asking Tiafimo in the lead up to the fight about the power. He said, you don't get it. His IQ is going to bring out mine. And what we haven't seen is Loma moving to his right the way he does against everyone else. He typically takes that angle mark to the right to try to get out of that lead foot and be able to place that power left hand. He gets around that left shoulder, that left elbow of his opponents. We are yet to see it tonight successfully. You take that away, he's ordinary. And that's exactly what this young man is doing. He's taking that angle away from Lomachenko. The critics grossly underestimated the boxing skill of Lopez to this point. But the master is opposite him. We knew he would be a slow starter. There's a little bit of an angle in the left hand that tried to go down the alley. That's what Lomachenko is going to have to do. He's got to close the distance, and I know it seems counterintuitive yeah. when you're facing an explosive puncher like Lopez, but you got to get inside that power to be effective so you're not on the end of his punches. Because right now, on the end, he's getting picked apart by Lopez. The speed of that jab from Teofimo Lopez, those quick hands. Once again, trying to go to the body with a long-range right hand. Southpaw jab being doubled and tripled up. Range Watch finding by Momo. Now he's Watch trying to get to the inside with a short left hand. That's where he's got to live, right there. Did you see the hook from, from Lopez, though? Well, that hook can be dangerous against the Southpaw because it's sitting right on top of them. Closest punch to be landed. And that's the shot that's going to take away the jab of Lomachenko, that left hook. It's going to make him keep his hands at home. There's a right hand to the body again from Tiafimo. Counterpunch by no, no, no. Loma. Watch your head. Watch Russell your head. Moore, we haven't said okay. his name much okay. tonight. Getting the assignment as the third man inside the ropes, and that's a good thing. See, I'm starting to see the same sequence from Lomachenko. He steps in, steps out of range, and he tries to get a jab off. Lopez, let me see if he can pick it up. Nope, there, uppercut. And a right hand! That already 53 year old undefeated world champion halfway through our 12 round fight for supremacy and andre ward's card has it 59 55 lopez and it is really tough to disagree with anything there because lomachenko has hardly put forth any offense he had the short right hand in the second he wins the second round but all the other Don't rounds go. seem to be Stop. obvious Stop. For Tiafimo. Don't hold him down. But don't hit him. Let's go. Box! Mo well, Senior told me, look, this guy can take a shot. But what I'm seeing here is that we're going to run him down. But he has to be patient. Just wait for the moment. But we're going to run him into a shot. You can see some redness and just a little bit of swelling around the face of Lomachenko. Look at that focus on Tiafimo Lopez. Hyper attentive to everything going on here as he fires off that back power hand again. Loma able to get out of range. Lopez can fight at this pace all night long. You want to tire out the young man? I don't think so. Right hand got around the guard there. There's a right hand to the body from Tiafimo. 
See, now Lopez now is, is throwing his punches where he thinks Lomachenko's going to be. He's moving around to the left. Okay, I'll throw the left hook. You move around to the right. Boom, I'll hit you with a right cross. But don't you think that's a big part of what it takes against the moving target that we typically see of Lomachenko to anticipate where he will be? He's angular. He likes to move. You have to predict where you need to be. And now you see more of the movement that he's known for. But will it turn into offense? We have yet to see much offense. It's been all to I'm going to let you know right now, Tess. No, we're not going to see it. This man right now is on fire. He is focused, dialed in. He has the heartbeat already, the rhythm of Lomachenko. He's already figured it out. Lomachenko now trying to close the gap as he comes forward against the young, brash, undefeated American. Look at Loma trying to be more on the front Stop. end now. Hey, and a little rough stuff on the inside as Russell Mora. He can punch. He can punch in there. He's going to say, you got to protect yourself, Tiafimo. He's allowed to punch on the inside. Nothing Experience. wrong with that shot that nope. Loma just landed. You got a free hand, you can use it. That's right. Says the guy who often did to have pound for pound status. Andre <laughs> Ward with short body shots on Hello. the inside. Anything it took from our partner. Just oh. missing with a right hand coming to the end of round seven. Different disposition in the back half of that round from Lomachenko. Fascinating fight, isn't it? It's a blowout. There is supreme confidence in the corner of Lopez. Mm. There always is. They're just doing it in a different way. More offense we saw out of Lomachenko in that last feet? round. He landed four power shots in that last round. But overall in the fight, he's only landed 11 overall. Lopez has landed 38. Loma's going to have to close that distance. He's, he's closing it right now. He's going to have to close that distance and be in range like that, but still be as oh. tight with his defense as possible. Time. Come here. you got to watch your head. You're coming it's in a with a clash your head. of heads okay. there. So now I Loma's coming in with his head. You're okay with the head? Yeah. Watch okay, the headbutt head here. Too. All right, guys. Let's go. Watch your heads. I mean, Tiafimo has to understand. It may have been clean for the first half of the fight, but with it all on the line, this will turn into a fight. He's not just going to give the belts away. You well, right now, about now you see Loma pressing on the gas a little bit yep. he's fighting with more urgency because he knows he's behind and he knows he only has so many rounds to try to make up the ground right hand by lopez and if you're lopez you got to stand your ground and not let loma take any more ground nice step around right there from lopez i said anytime loma try to get on angles step around with him and you see it again he steps with him split the guard with a right hand Oh, and there's a left hand from Lomachenko. And now he comes into the pocket and they're exchanging. Lomachenko's best there offensive surge of the night. It comes at the halfway point of round eight. Neko, Neko. Things have changed. And now he's stepping to Tiafimo. He's got to close the distance. Tiafimo willing to trade. He throws a right hand of his own. And Lopez has to continue to fight him off. The fight has begun. Lomachenko looking to dig out of the hole. Lopez trying to throw fire back with fire. Here it is right now. Loma starting. He found the heartbeat now. He found the heartbeat. Got the rhythm going. Now he's letting his own feet. Being very accurate at the moment. I see a little bit of redness around the eyes of Tiafimo. There's the jab from the pound for pound best in the world. Mm. Right hand behind the jab. Lomachenko back out on the outside. Will he go back into the kitchen? Lopez can't abandon the jab. He's got to continue to use that. That's what's gotten him up on the scorecards and has him in control of this fight right now. Straight right hand moments ago. Looking for that right uppercut again. Remember, he had success a couple rounds ago with it. By far the most entertaining round of the fight. Mark down round number eight. Things changed. Done. 10 of 20 in power punches. Let's see if he stays a little aggressive here. Round number nine, winner take all, all four belts. And Lopez comes out with a hook.
If you're Loma, you got to continue to use your jab just like that. Sometimes you'll land it, sometimes you won't. But it'll get you in range, stay tight, and let your hands go, get out of range, and then reset and do it again. So you can't lay on the outside like that, Joe. Lopez having banked all the early rounds. But now it is on the line. Anatoly Lomachenko said, I need him to establish that jab, get inside behind that jab, but throw combinations, not single shots. He just pushed back against Lomachenko. That is exactly what his father wanted him to do. After that eighth round, he said, and he did it again. He said, when he comes in like that, don't allow for it. Push him back. So, watch your legs, watch your legs. Let's go. Let's see, Loma's in range sometimes, and he won't let his shots go. He's got body shots, and he's got short uppercuts and right hooks, but he's not throwing the punches when he's in range. Why is that, Dre? Is it because of the danger that exists opposite him, knowing what could be coming back? That's exactly what it is. Trust me, if Loma felt like he was in control and he could take the power, he would throw more shots. He's not comfortable yet. Short left hand. Oh, there's a good jab and a combination from Lomachenko. And Lopez comes right back. Lomo's going to have to sell out to get the kind of shots that he wants. Just, some nights, it's just like that. you got to back up your reputation. you got to back up your name. And you got to put yourself in harm's way to get the job done. And let me tell you something. If he has to sell out offensively, this is going to be an incredibly entertaining stretch run for the undisputed status. Tonight, we're going to see what Lopez has inside tonight. Loma's going to test him. Lead left uppercut from Tiafimo Lopez. Tiafimo is not going to give way. He is looking to pull the trigger on these uppercuts. Lomachenko has to close the gap. He has to step in. And that is dangerous against a power puncher who, by the way, is showing very good boxing skill tonight. If you're Lopez, this is not the time to mentally go to sleep. He's got to stay alert. Three you punches touch him up. there from Loma. This is not the fight that most thought we would have. Most felt Tiafimo Lopez's only chance was to have that dynamite in the right hand and be able to deliver it. They didn't think about this, the athleticism, the quickness, the boxing IQ. Mm, looking for that right uppercut again. Fun to see Lomachenko with a little more oh, nice body shot right there. offensive desire with the combinations over and over again. Since he started doing that in the seventh round, he has found success. And you can make a strong argument that he has thanked the last three rounds. Remember, early on we were all in agreement he only had the second round in the first half of the fight. But the last three rounds, you could mark down the ledger for Lomachenko. Not that Lopez has tailed off. Lomachenko has had to come on. Round number 10. No, no, no. Stop! No, no, no. You know, Joe, this is why you don't see a lot of unifications in the sport, or at least as many as we should, and a lot of undisputed championships, because it's hard. It's not easy. You're risking everything. You could get knocked out. You could get beat. You might get embarrassed. And oftentimes, guys don't want to risk all that. But give credit for these two because during the Floyd Mayweather era when it was about managing the business of boxing this is about the boxing of boxing well done by both men for taking this fight one area Stop. where Lopez Lago, is Lago. neglecting is the body of Lomachenko I told you guys earlier if you got a guy that's coming in being aggressive you start hitting him down to the body he's gonna start protecting that rib cage oh Trying to work his way on the jab and a good offensive surge from Tiafimo. Teo getting hit with some big shots right now from Loma. Loma's starting to play some shots and they start to get heavy. I'm Can seeing stop. the wear and tear right now. In front. What you see from Loma is just the heart of a, a winner. You see a guy who is not used to, to losing and he's not going to lose easily. He's going to try to bite down what you see him doing right now and try to get his respect and win some more rounds. Not used to losing. A guy who goes 396 and 1 in his amateur career and wins two golds and then becomes the fastest ever to be a three division champion. He lands the left hand on the face of Tiafimo Lopez there. If you're Lopez, this is where you earn your money as well. You got to bite down and maintain the respect that you've earned in the earlier rounds. Can't give it up right now just because Loma decides he wants to come forward. 
That's what championship boxing is all That's about. That's right. Moments like this. How bad you want it? That's what it boils down to. You can see he, he belongs in the ring with Lomachenko. He's doing very well. But now he got to bite down on that mouthpiece. He's got to close it. Yeah, and close the show. Left hand right to the midsection. Right hand to the body from Ooh. Tiafimo. Both guys trading. Both guys willing to get there. Loma gets into the pocket. Fires off a combination. Poor discipline by Lopez. You know, he keeps his hands real low. He can easily block those shots if he brings his hands up. Oh, nice. Oh. No, that's a body shot. Over there. Russell Mora is going to say low blow. Tell me when you're ready. He's jumping up in the air. You're okay? You all right? Okay, give me your gloves. You be the judge. Let's you see. Okay? okay, stay right here. Belt line. Stay right here. Near okay, the belt line, a little bit that. low. Don't let it happen again, all right? But when you all got right. Loma pulling away like that. Russell Moore, the referee, has refereed 570 Time. professionals. Six minutes to decide it. So, Dre, your scorecard reads exactly the way that I just described it. Stop. It's let now go. Go. five rounds apiece, according to Andre Ward. Of course, what matters is what is said with Tim Cheatham, Julie Letterman, mm. and Steve Weisfeld, the three judges here. Everything is riding on these next two rounds Stop. for both fights. Yes. Let's go. Watch your head. Both of you. And Watch as you head. can see, the experience of Lomachenko is now starting to pay good dividends. He's been here before. Lopez don't know. Look at these exchanges here in round number 11. You think they want it? Let's go. Let's go. Will they step to each other again? Loma gets right to him. Lopez, of course, can fire off that right hand that can change anything at any moment. Loma can't forget the body. When Lopez is on the ropes like that, the midsection is wide open. Lopez is exhausted right now. Loma stepping on that gas, and you can see he's landing those straight punches. He said, I want to take him to the deep water where he hasn't been. I want to drown him there. These are the championship rounds where the veteran does that. And body shark. Hurt Lopez Stop. right there. You see him holding on, trying here. to get Not himself together. You can see more pronounced swelling around the eye of Lopez as well. Listen. Look at Lomachenko right into him immediately. Closing that gap, a short left hand, Listen. an overhand right as well. And then an up jab. Listen to me. You can rest tomorrow. Lopez needs to bite down right now. Lomachenko's putting it on him. Lomachenko's looking for a knockout, gentlemen. He's looking to stop Lopez. Big 11th round here for Lomachenko. Lopez right hand to the body from Lopez. Fight. Yeah, yeah. Lopez is still throwing, and he's still no dangerous. Make no mistake no about it. But he's not throwing enough, Dre. And then that big miss right there took a lot of steam out of Lopez. Lomachenko, that southpaw jab. Oh, There's nice a body shot. shot. Left hand to the body from Lomachenko. And now the break from Russell Moore. Well, we said in the first couple rounds that this is what Loma had to do to have success. Is close the distance, take more risk. He's getting hit, but he's willing to get hit so he can get his offense off. Well, Lopez is a little That's bit tired. Fair. That's fair. Lopez is tired. So a lot of steam off his punches now. So Loma doesn't feel that threatened. Remember we talked about how exhausting it is to just be in there thinking about every moment, the hyper-focus and attentiveness to every second against Lomachenko. Now you see what it looks like. But the body shots still yes. have effect, don't they? He has committed to that from the start. It was a good 11th oh. round from Lomachenko, good, but a good finish to it from Lopez as he's stalking forward here. First half was Tiafimo Lopez. Second half has been Vasily Lomachenko. This will decide it. Three minutes for history. Dream about moments like this yes, with a young kid coming up, a fight basically being even, going into the last round, and you envision yourself finding a way to pull it out. I want to see who finds a way to pull it out in this 12th round. Let go, let go. Let go. And let Tim, can let you let imagine... This fight would typically be in front of 20,000 next door in the big arena or Madison Square Garden or Staples. The roar to start a 12th round. But it's just them and it's just 100 people here in a COVID protected bubble, the Chamber of Truth. And this is the way they're going to do it. Bernardo, what do they think and what are they saying in the corner of Lopez? 
Teofimo Lopez' father said, look, you're winning this fight. Just go out there and box. But it looks like the son is not trusting that, and he's going out to win this fight, just as Andre and Tim would. There's reason to believe that. We just nice saw Andre's guard. Good right hand work from Lopez. He is fighting down. He wants it. Oh! Lomachenko steps to him and fires off. One single moment in this 12th round could sway things. This 12th round could be the decider. We could be sitting on a draw. We could be sitting on something where a body shot swings it. Just landed again by Lopez. And he digs down with a left hand. Comes up top with a left hook. Fires a straight right. Body language. It could be everything in this, in this round. Body language. Who wants it more? Sometimes that, that sways a judge. Well, Lopez has definitely won the first half of that round, put on a great exhibition of power, speed, skill. Let's see if he can close the show, or if Loma is going to step on the gas. You know Loma stepping on the gas. Think about everything they put forth, their whole lives. And now 60 seconds to see if you can become an undisputed, the first four-belt lightweight champion. It boils down to these moments right here. Stop! Let go! Right hand tried to time it. Oh, left oh, hand comes in. Oh, oh, and Lopez with success here. He okay. heard him. Tia Fimo Lopez. He heard him. Best punch of the back half of the fight right there. He heard him. Oh, he's got him hurt. Look at this. Tia Fimo Lopez on the go against Lomachenko. There is no doubt about this 12th round right now, is there, gentlemen? The young man wants it. Over there. Come. What is he Come doing? Here. What is he? Come here, Doc. It's the cut on the right eye. Accidental headbutt. He had complete momentum before that you accidental got flash. You got to be kidding me. Come. Listen, ten seconds. Considering what he did in this twelfth round, I'm, just coasted I'm in his bank okay, for Tiafima. I'm, I'm lost for words. I don't even know what to say. Good. We're he right. didn't hear the clack. He didn't hear okay. the clack, clack, clack. You have to watch your head too. All right. Cool. Both you guys got to watch your head. Clash right. of Heads opens up the cut. Bucks. Final 10 seconds to take it home. Power surge by Tiafimo Lopez in the 12th round Woo! of a very, very close fight that will head to the scorecards to decide it. Ladies and gentlemen, here inside MGM Grand, after 12 rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for the official decision. Tim Cheatham scores the bout 116-112. Julie Letterman scores the belt 119-109. Steve Weisfeld scores the bout 117-111. For your winner by unanimous decision, and now the undisputed lightweight champion of the world, the takeover. Silly Lomachenko backflip as he always does. He is the undisputed lightweight champion of the world. An American fighter, a 23 year old, is king of the sport. A unanimous decision. He said he would. His father said he would.